All right, today we're here on the r slash bone lab reddit uh, because I want to talk about a couple of things here mostly regarding creepypastas and bone lab. It seems like for the past year uh, people have just been doing these weird creepypastas here on the bone lab subreddit and today I just kind of want to talk about them. It seems like it started with baseline and these myths that there is this entity in the game that is watching you. I've I actually did this in a myth line. Um, a Mythbusters video, uh, Bone Lab Mythbusters video, where I basically was debunking the idea that when you go onto the map and shoot stuff, it, there's like you can actually shoot an entity that's invisible there and it, it leaks blood and stuff like that. It's so stupid and silly. Um, this has been this has been reposted on here a ton of different times. This is one of them here from a year ago saying that it was probably a physics bug, but they took a Ford away from an area and then I started looking up at the sky as I walked backwards. Someone did point out that this is completely normal and that when a creature gets too far from a spawn point they just kind of de-aggro and go back to spawn point and this is this does kind of line up with crablets and stuff and this is the most likely explanation um but again this seems to have fueled more of the baseline uh, myths and stuff like that here's another one saying that it, there's this weird easter egg um where uh, when you, you're, you're playing baseline for about 10 minutes and then you stop and start looking around and I don't know if I was just seeing things but I saw what looked like a void man from Boneworks appearing and disappearing around me in the darkness. He looked like a hole cut out on the lights in the middle with the same shape as the void man. The void man's gonna get you. <laughs> it's so silly. Um, I was standing in the middle of the map with the lights on. Something worth noting is that I used the dev tools option to make the utility gun spawned and a do not sign band symbol showed up. I loaded up baseline again today and I could spawn the Nimbus. There was no shadow man. If it helps, I am on the beta. I really don't know if I triggered some rare Easter egg or if my mind was fucking with me, but further investigation is needed. Any help with the investigation would be appreciated. And they said they want to just put this here. This is not a creepypasta. They were on the beta the whole time. And they're basically being very adamant that this was a real deal. This was posted two months ago. So it's still happening. Uh, pretty uh, it's, it's still relevant. This whole weird baseline entity thing is still kind of relevant. And you can see that people are still talking about like the the entity and be like oh can you recreate it and all oh, this is this is, is silly jokes aside pretty interesting you know so some people are taking it seriously some people are thinking it's a joke and obviously it's some kind of joke or creepypasta type deal uh here's um another one this one said there's this thing i only did because it kind of freaked me out and the first level that they spawned a knife see this one's a different level so it's it's interesting in that regard but uh they in the first level they spawned a knife with the spawn gun they accessed it through the dev tools obviously because that's the only way you can get it uh they hanged themselves cut the rope with it and then they were allowed to free roam uh but they were using their oculus when they did it and after exploring the untextured map for a while it started glitching and they teleported to different parts of the map and they said that it felt like they were being watched the whole time and it kind of freaked them out a bit someone was saying that they should make a creepypasta about this and honestly this is this is probably just that. This is probably just a weird creepypasta thing. Just some made up story that someone posted. And again, these kind of like weird creepy stories are still relevant to this day. People are still posting about it. Because as you can see, this one was posted 12 days ago. So people are still talking about these weird entities and this weird creepy feeling that something's watching them in the game. It's really weird. Um, here's one that kind of summarizes all of that. This one doesn't seem to be necessarily a creepypasta itself, but basically they're talking about how um, when they're playing the game, they, they feel kind of like they're stuck and like it's it's a lonely feeling that they get. Uh, and it's kind of interesting reading this um, because they do compare it to Gmod and people have talked about Gmod before in the past and how creepy and empty and lonely it can feel in these big sandbox maps there. Um, I don't really know how to explain it. I think I've seen a video before in the past talking about this kind of empty uh, liminal feeling that you get in Gmod and I think the same thing is kind of being applied to Bone Lab because it does kind of have very similar feelings to Gmod and I think that's probably where a lot of these different creepypastas and these creepy stories are really coming from. But again, this one was posted seven days ago. This was actually the post that I had seen that made me want to do this video because I was like, okay, fine. I'm going to I'm gonna probably talk about this because I keep seeing it on here. People every, every couple of weeks or something like that are posting more stuff on here about some creepy thing that happened to them. This one, I don't know if this one really counts, but this person said that they spawned into the hub. They didn't spawn anything other than a few NPCs. And when they turned their corner, they saw this. There was a bunch of random props just all over the place. And apparently, it freaked them out and they thought it was a little bit creepy and weird um this obviously 
100% was just them. They just spawned a bunch of stuff, clearly. If not, that's a weird thing, obviously. Um, but obviously, they, they, they clearly just spawned this stuff in themselves and is trying to pretend that this stuff appeared somehow by itself. I don't know. It's just weird. People people like to have fun with it, I guess, and make up their own stuff. This one was posted four days ago, uh, and we have another one from 11 months ago, so this one's a little bit further back. This one has a pretty logical explanation to it, so I could I could see them actually like having this real experience of seeing uh, this bright yellow human-shaped figure peeking over the wall and then falling behind the wall or something like that. I can see that being a genuine experience, but it not being a yellow human shaped figure and instead being the battery that spawns up there on that tower uh, because that is something that spawns and someone else did mention this as well that it is a battery used to power the door and the museum from burn work bone works um, so it is possible that they saw the battery and then something they did while playing the game made it fall behind there and they saw it in the corner of their eye and they thought it was a human shaped figure and they freaked out and I don't know left the game or something <laughs> um, because I mean I don't know. It seems like one of the ones where it's plausible, like, uh, something kind of like that might have happened. They just misinterpreted it. That's that's pretty much all of these that I really want to share. There is a couple more I want to share. The the moon level entity myth as well is something I want to share. And then we'll we'll talk about the best one that I've seen on this entire subreddit. It's hilarious. Um, but uh, this person is also talking about feeling uneasy. This time on the moon level, and they said that they feel slightly uneasy while playing the moon level, half expecting something or someone to be lightly skipping down the hills when you, where you get the Bingus character. And they asked if anyone else feels this uneasiness on this level or if there's any other ones. Uh, they know baseline is a big one because people feel that weird thing there. Um, but there is this like moon level entity that people have talked about before in the past as well and there's plenty of comments here talking about <laughs> this person saying they have nightmares um and stuff like that but it's it's funny and interesting to to think about like how like is this one feels like it could just be a real experience like they really did just play the game and when they were on the moon level they just started getting a really creepy feeling because it, it does have that kind of effect on you. These big empty worlds with like nothing going on in them, like the moon level and baseline, they can be kind of creepy in their own psychological way. But when you start adding like entities and creatures and stuff and do this weird creepy pasta style stuff on it, it, it kind of destroys the whole thing. And it's like, okay, yeah, now, now you're just having fun with the creepiness feeling. Um, but here's the best one right here. This one is my favorite. Um, it's, it's by the, the, the Waffle of Oz. Um, it's posted a year ago. A very scary and true Bone Lab creepypasta. Don't, don't, please don't read if you get scared easy. Um, they, they, they clarified at the beginning that it's a meme post, but I still love it because it's just so good. It's just, it, it, it screams, like, 10 year old old uh, like old creepypasta it just it just screams it's perfect um that it's got misspellings in here like a viewer discretion advised um advised <laughs> um and they say it's very scary and they're the writer and they're not liable for any bodily or mental harm that this may cause to the reader it's so silly um they, they say it was day one uh, and then they were excited to play bone lab uh, and everything like that. And basically, I, I, I guess I probably shouldn't read the entire post here because I might sit here for like five minutes just reading this whole thing because it is quite long. Uh, but also, I kind of want to just send you guys over here to read it yourself and maybe send some love over to this post. I know it was posted a year ago, but it's just hilarious. Um, but yeah, they basically said that they hopped on their gaming PC, they got it on day one, and then they, they got this warning message that says that it contains photorealistic like blood and that if you die in the game, you die in real life, which is hilarious because later on, I'm pretty sure they die in the game and they don't die in real life because I post this. Um, but it's just hilarious. They talk about, like, um, Ford with 666 on his shirt and everything. There's a there's so many funny things in here, and there's just so much that happens. But they do mention stuff like the, the moon level entity, and I think they also mention baseline at some point in this. So they do kind of reference some of the other weird creepypasta things that have been shared here on the subreddit. Um, but yeah, I just kind of want to talk about this because... It seems like a, a growing trend here on on the Bone Lab subreddit, where just every every week or so, someone posts some other creepy story, and some of them, like like the base the uh, museum basement level, it could be like a real experience. They just misinterpreted something, um, but. Yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys believe there's some kind of weird entity in Bone Lab that is in like baseline or in the, the moon level or these other random levels in the game? 
let me know in the comments below uh and also if you guys have any weird creepy experiences let me know in the comments below for that too because i'd love to hear them even if you're just making up total nonsense it's kind of fun to hear these it's just a fun wacky zany thing i guess uh but yeah please do consider liking subscribing sharing uh and yeah do all those things and remember most importantly to stay yourself and stay asleep